I'm going to use my inquiry blog to show you how to do this next one because I've used lots of labels. So the first thing that I'm going to do is scroll down to where my labels are and pick the one that I want to use as a tab across the pages bar. So that's going to be the teaching as inquiry one. So I'm going to click on that label and that brings up all of my posts about teaching as inquiry and it changes the URL up here. It gives it a unique URL because it adds late search label teaching as inquiry. So I need to grab hold of that and copy it. So I've just copied that. Then I'm going to go into design and I'm going to click on layout. Okay, on my cross column bit here where I've got pages, this is the one I want to edit. So I'm going to click on where it's the blue lettering there that says edit. Now you've got an option here. You can tick or untick pages. Or can you see in the blue writing here, it says add external link. I'm going to click on there. You can give it a title. So I'm just going to give it the title inquiry. And I'm going to put the URL, paste it into there and save that link. Now that puts it down here. Now can you see the difference between the ones that I've got as links, this class on A1 and solo and inquiry, those go to links that are from my labels and these ones go to pages that are not links. So again, you can drag the order around. I can pull that up. And then once you're happy with it, you click on save and save arrangement. And then when I go on view blog, you can see inquiries appeared at the top here. Now when I click on that, what that does is it opens up that URL with the inquiry label and it shows all of my posts to do with inquiry. Like this one here shows all of my posts about using solo taxonomy. So you can see it, it tells you there showing posts with label solo. And the one for Class on Air 2017. All it does is it changes the URL here to be the one that includes your label. This is one of the reasons why it's a really good idea to get your labels correct.